Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Maria. Where's your shelter? And today we are going to be packing because sis right here is moving into her university dorm room. I actually had two weeks to get ready, but <laughs> the queen of procrastination waited till uh, the last night to start packing. So that's what we're doing here today. I am so ready. I have no idea why I do half of the things I do. We are currently done with this half and I'm going to do that half full of socks and shoes and all that. And that's pretty much it for my packing. One eternity later. It is currently the day after the actual day that I was supposed to move in, which was to be yesterday. But due to some unforeseen reasons, I'm still home. 99.9% will be leaving tomorrow. So today I am just finalizing a few things. I have to run to the store, get some stuff. Originally I was supposed to do it in Johannesburg. I'm in Pretoria. But that's not going to be possible anymore. So I have to finish everything here in Pretoria, which is why I am doing this last minute shopping today. I'm going to take you guys with me and show you around a bit as much as I can. Because let me tell you, filming in public is hard. I will try to show you as much as I can, but if I can't... It is what it is. It is, it is what it is. <laughs> This is what we had before and this is what we have now some stuff are still downstairs but i'm not gonna deal with those today what we're doing now is moving what's in that bag into that bag and then moving all of these things into that bag hopefully it's gonna be enough yeah, i don't think i'm taking this anymore now this is the hard part that mess in here. It's finally moving day, guys. This is everything that needs to fit in the car. We're just waiting on the car right now, and then we're gonna pack everything and go. I'm excited. But also, I know it's going to be a very, very a long day so can't wait for the day to end three hours later we have officially moved in i am in my room and um uh, it's a whole mess right now but i'm gonna give you guys a little mini tour of the room with everything just as it is and then we'll actually get to packing up and unpacking and repacking and all that behind me is the door and the switch for the light and as you come in to the left we have the kitchen it's a it's really just a kitchenette it's super tiny there we have it and as you come in from the doorway to the right is the bathroom toilet over there and this is the annoying thing let me show you this guys the toilet this lid does not stay up it comes with all these brooms and mops and dust pans 
I'm probably not gonna use those because I brought my own. I have the sink right over here and the mirror. Over here is the shower. I think it's as spacious as a dorm room shower can get. And right here is the, I think it's a towel hook. Is it? I'm, I'm gonna use it for my towel anyway, so <laughs> I don't know. To the right is the closet. Why isn't it opening though? Okay, that's not a good sign. Guys, super tiny, super, super small, but it's gonna be, it's gonna, it's gonna work. From the kitchen out to the fridge here is the desk, which is really huge. I am excited about that part. I don't know what I'm gonna do to fill it up, but I am really excited about it. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, that lamp comes, um, the room comes with the lamp. The lamp comes with the room. No, the room comes with the lamp, yeah. And then the window over here, which is like right in front of the gate. I'm gonna warn you guys right now, my room is a mess. So everything is dumped on my bed, all my clothes are there. But that's our bed, that's like the tiniest bed. I actually like the floor space, the distance from here to here. I think it's really good for a dorm room. And I'm gonna tell you, if you are looking at vet university rooms online they look way worse than what this one looks like so i'm grateful for that because originally i was like i can i cannot survive it's tiny and then there was a sink in the middle of the room why would you put a sink like right at the edge of the bed all right guys so let's get down to business I am currently trying to figure out how to get this kitchen rack out of these things. I think this goes here. Step one complete. Success! That is a million dollar job right there. Mars the Builder is back at it again and right now we are building a laundry basket. Look at this. You have a standing laundry basket. Just like the picture. Oh no, wait. Just like the picture. Hey guys, so it's been a while since I last updated you, so I'm gonna do that right now. <sighs> I am super tired, I'm hungry, my feet are killing me. So I am calling it a night for today, but I have made tremendous progress if I do say so myself. Uh, I'm just gonna show you what I've done so far. I've managed to get a couple of stuff done in the kitchen. I have plates and glasses there and then my blender and bowls 
over here in this cab cabinet. Down here is still a work in progress, but I have all my cleaning stuff over that side and I have my water bottles in there. Down here is a bag of plastic bags because I'm African and every African has a bag of plastic bags. Am I right? Probably not gonna keep the water in there because I, I just feel weird about having my water with the cleaning stuff so I don't know something something there is gonna change. In the bathroom I have to deal with that part. I have a lot more stuff that I need in the shower so I'm probably gonna get something to fit those things and probably going to get something else like another shower curtain or something because this one this one feels weird i just don't like it touching me and the bathroom is really small so when i mean the shower is really small so when i'm in there and i close the shower curtain it touches me and that just feels weird so i might get a new one and put that away over here just have it's not a lot of space again i have my toothbrush toothpaste mouthwash and then my hand wash over there i have my bin and my scrubby dubby thingy oh i also put it in my carpets <laughs> when we come to the closet this is a super work in progress look at that guys that's a mess i need storage bins or storage baskets so i'm not gonna be able to sort this out until i get those and those vines are gonna go up on my wall but that's not today i literally only came with two pairs of shoes so that's all i have and down there i'm keeping all the stuff that i found in the room that i don't want to use because i feel weird about using them and i'm gonna use my own oh we weren't done with the kitchen by the way i am making literally maize because i am so hungry and i think i'm burning this hold on guys oh okay no we still have water in there it's okay false alarm all right right here we have all our spices these three are still empty so i'm gonna fill those up with something but the rest of these over here cooking oil rice and then this thingy i know this is not for food exactly i mean it's for whatever you want it to be for so i'm using it for salt but i had bought it for cotton buds and um, cotton pads but eh. we have onions garlic ginger and potatoes in this little drawer here i have all the foils and the wraps tissue here we have pots down here i'm going to put um the oven baking and roasting things here we've got food spices um milk and baking stuff sugar yeah over here i have this lazy jane thingy which i'm using for all these are these condiments i think virutubisho and cooking stuff this is probably the area that i have not touched today i just used it to keep stuff and i'm gonna work on it tomorrow and also when i get um storage bins and baskets so this is just just ignore this area okay then we're down at the bed because i need to sleep on it so i'm probably gonna get throws to put on it but yeah that's pretty much it so as far as moving in goes i feel like i have moved in my kitchen is done my bathroom is ready my bed is made and that's literally all you need to live so that is the end of this move in video i will be doing a room tour when i'm done with all the decor and sorting out this mess but for this video guys and i don't know until when i bid you adieu i hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions be sure to ask them down below and i will answer them as soon as i can which will probably be very soon <laughs> why am i like this guys i'm just i'm, I'm tired I, I feel like i'm i'm tired talking right now and i need my maze to be ready so that i can eat and watch grownish 
and sleep. I don't know if I said this, but I am at the University of Witwatersrand, which is how they say it, but it's spelled Witwatersrand. So I don't understand why W is pronounced as V, but I'm not here to talk about that at all. So yeah, I'm at Wits University. I'm staying at Wits Junction. Yeah, I think. I mean, I know. Yeah, that's where I'm staying. Let me know what else you guys would like to know about Wits and I will figure it out because I probably will need to figure it out as well. And I'll see you next time. Bye.